Hey guys, welcome back to PFI Speed and your half hour of power. On today's episode, I've got Jamie's little Civic on the dyno. He's been hard at it, trying to get it ready for the PSEA race season that's coming up. Hope some of you guys can make it out for that. It's gonna be pretty awesome. He's uh, got his freshly built B18 in here and the cylinder head he got from Javi with the Island Civic. Javi got the side skirts put on and Sean built him an intercooler that's just tough and fat. This thing is thick. Two cores welded together, turned out pretty epic. Jamie did a whole new turbo kit on it. He's got Derek Martin's old turbo manifold. He's got a little GT35 turbo on here. He's got some new Hasport mounts. And this thing is looking fresh. Can't wait to see what kind of power it makes. He's about to get this thing going. So let's get jamming on it. And I think later on, we're gonna be working on the bully. Sean's been back there hard at it, trying to get the intercooler all done for it. So can't wait to see how that turns out. So we got a busy episode. So I hope you guys sit back, relax, and let's start jamming. We need some cleanup. First rip, but I was wrong. You were wrong? Yeah. 600 second, the second rip. rip. What do you see there? Uh, 21 pounds at the tip. <laughs> Well, you do got one of those sweet throttle bodies. Mm. It looks good out here, but yeah. you did yeah. put a throttle body on it, so you gotta expect some of that. Yeah. How much boost was that? 22. 22. So that's your gate spring? Yep. straps 730 horsepower it was on the way up So he put a little boost control duty in there and they kind of backed it out. So still trying to work it out. Yeah, I saw you jump up and run away. That's not the best spot to sit, is it? <laughs> I'm thinking the wheel might come off or something. <laughs> so if you do the very end ones now, yeah. you can go to the, and just interpolate down and you can speed your stuff up. How rich did it go? 1060, 1090. How much ignition time are you running? That was 1918. How much? 18. 18. 18. At 22 pounds. Nice and light. See there, I got it to come up to the 21, 22 pounds by, you know, 5800 RPM. But then it came out of it as my boost uh -oh. came out of it there. <laughs> Made 
20 pounds out the back there. Yeah, blew a coupler. those brake points and fix that coupler yeah. i mean that's a good size power band i think no that's so, great that's about 59 well six we'll say six thousand to whatever you're revving it to yeah yeah six thousand to nine yeah that's good you need to add some weight to the front of this bad boy that'll work to start with and now you're really gonna beat me well guys, Sean's been hard at the intercooler, but we had to rip the motor and transmission back out. We have a little issue with the we have a little issue with the we have a little issue with the torque converter. We noticed that the pads were a little short. I didn't film it. We were kind of just going, trying to get this thing figured out, but the pads and the pilot. Yeah, the pads, pilot, all of it. It seemed new, it seemed a little thin. We've got a new um, we got a new adapter, a new flex plate. We're not sure if that's it. We added a plate. We it. added a plate in the middle. We did a few things, but now we're like, we're still like five eighths of an inch or something, right? Yeah, like, I mean, so that's like, you take your eighth inch off for your actual air gap you're supposed to have. Right. That's a half inch. I right. Mean, and we've been really, we've always set it up so we could just use standard Chevy converters so we could just repeat and do this quick, but we have a little issue. So we had to pull it back out um we're still working on that intercooler trying to get all that done uh working on the brakes working on a bunch of little stuff trying to get this thing going and we're trying to get tom's all rocking as well so we're hard at it and you've been doing angels all day so oh, yeah. this has been uh quite the day it's but we're <laughs> it is it is a monday with a big stamp but we're still going and we're still pushing through so sometimes it's those hardships that just make us that much better so we're gonna keep pushing try to get this thing done we've got to leave jamie's talking thursday morning and the weather's been crazy in texas so we're all like we don't know we're just gonna we're just keep pushing because we want to make something happen for you guys and we just enjoy it a lot so well i think uh that's where we're at, at the moment right yeah we're still gonna keep plugging yeah we're still plugging we're still gonna keep plugging, I can't talk. There's plenty to do. Yeah, yeah. So, morning I'll tackle the converter. Um, I've I think, got some stuff to do on the train. I've got our solenoid right there for a trans brake. Oh, we've got our up. trans brake. So I got so that together. We had to do we've some stuff anyway. Change. We needed some bolts here and stuff. Yeah, so. There's some stuff to do here. It had to at least come out this far. Yeah, anyway. no matter what. Yeah, so. We just had to take it farther and take this apart yeah but it's like two more minutes worth of work yeah it's been quite the day and that's why i worked on that end of the intercooler first yeah yeah and that's good that was good on you for sure because if the you back half's easy i just have yeah. to make some yeah. measurements and yeah this some this cat. is good but if we if we had had to pull it out before you got this done we'd have had major setbacks so so sean's able to keep plugging away on the intercooler which is totally rad and by hopefully by the time he's there we're already on that and in the meantime while that's out we could probably put fuel rails on and start getting some stuff figured out for that and water and uh you you have the other issue we found too which one break the brake yeah yeah so yeah i i touched on that oh okay but i don't know if you touched on that yeah i did <laughs> the brakes we found so you guys know the brakes we found well there's just not enough air gap between the uh the spindle and the rotor sean and i measured a bunch of stuff we thought we, thought we were there. Yeah, we thought we were there. But those things happen building cars, and uh, we know how to fix it. We uh, remeasured, and it was like 
170 and and we're calling in overnight favors <laughs> yeah we're calling overnight <laughs> from japan <laughs> kind of but that's where we're at all right well we're gonna get back on it um there may be a time lapse or we may have you hang out in a bit so that's where we're at <laughs> Woo! Woo! all right so tom and jamie are getting the brake lines in it now trying to get it all set up we just pulled it out of the old bully for an end. Uh, no. No. I needed to get some too for Shane's torque wrench. I mean, there might be something. Steel I mean, triple A's or double A? One triple. Maybe you could steal uh, call, it. Call uh, Jerry. He just went into the city. See if he can grab one for you real quick. He's got to stop he at the just store. Went into the city. Not that far in the booms here, Tom. Go next one. Down. Next one. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. This is the old one. I don't think so. Because it goes right here. I think it came right through here. Think so? I'm pretty positive. So these are all new, remember? So I'm yeah, but this tube is the same. This is where the oh, front okay. end was. Well, so, no, here. Hold on. You just keep coming my way. Somewhere I need to be. Yeah, but he's not. He's got to pull it all the way out. Yeah, I got to come out. I was, I thought Dude. he might be able to just keep it going. No. So through here. Yes. Yep. Yep. All right. There we go. Passing it right all along to Jamie. Jamie's going to get that baby in place. Look at that. There it is. That works. Hey. This thing's much shorter. Than yeah, it's narrower. Yeah. yeah, we narrowed the whole frame here. here I think it turned out good. What do you guys think? Drop some comments. Let us drop a comment. And let us know what you think of how she's coming out. I think it's pretty awesome. No, no, no. Leave it back here. But scoot it in. Okay. To here. So I'll cut it and put it, pull it. Yeah, just like that. I won't go. There like we that. go. Just like that. Yeah. This That'll be nice. The we could. If I had a little bulkhead, I would just put this onto that and just be over it and just run the line on the other side of it. Yeah, originally it was that way because it flexed. You know what I mean? I remember. It was on the sled, so. Do you remember? So that's why there was a line. But yeah, otherwise you could do a bulkhead right to it and it'd be done. Because it does look really sharp. Just it's saying. We're going to be good. I'll get that done right now. Sure, where's that motor trainer still back in it? <laughs> it will be. And while it's down this far, Todd, me and you should tackle these boots. But these boots would throw grease all over our nice, pretty new paint job. <laughs> and I'm trying to not have that happen. No. So, the bad thing with these fancy axles is the grease. Yeah, and the. This style boot just doesn't work. So you can see there's a little lip here and it just falls right on. There's nothing to here to really to hold it on. So you can band them all day and it's just still gonna either whip some grease out or everything. yeah. They make one called the super boot that makes it go from here to here. Those would work good but, or the ones that are similar to these up here. So that's yeah. what I say. Those are nice, they're clean. Less material. Less stuff, yeah. Less room to hold grease. So, I'll probably dive in and do that. And then what? What else we got on our list, boys? Brakes is a big one. Brakes is a big one. Gonna run the wire harness. Yeah, wire harness. And then um, I was gonna, how much of that stuff in there can I take out? Um, we don't lines. know yet. Oh, okay. Because this is basically replacing exactly what we had. So, in theory, we shouldn't take anything out. We should just be connecting to Inside, what's in there. Instead of yeah out here yeah so in theory we shouldn't be doing a whole bunch of wiring but yeah me and sean spec'd it off of what we had we just added six feet and changed some plugins yeah so, so we don't have to do it. so that should take care of the wiring coming down to the coming down to the wire folks and she's pretty dusty <laughs> thanks tom <laughs> thanks tom didn't want to add to our workload. That's the 
Right. That's this old, is the old harness. That's the old that's 2000 what harness. Looking at. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's seeing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bus bar could use some cleanup, but we'll get there. Hey. Doing a magnet something train? we ain't gotta fix. Oh, just <laughs> thought you were gonna say something we ain't gotta fix. <laughs> so I'd be looking at just keeping like this. Yeah. And kind of angling them both, make two of those angling them in, then filling in those gaps and building in plates okay. that the pipes would attach to. Yeah, we'll work hard to try to get that back together quick. <laughs> yeah. Converter issues. Converter issues. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 696 horsepower. Oh. Dodged the bullet. You almost got yourself. <laughs> All right. Hold on, let's go again. Okay. we get the brakes bled. Give me one more. Get one more thing done. Nice. Good. Tight. Right. Good now. One more thing down. The brakes are bled. Get the spacer fixed up tomorrow and get that all together. Keep sailing. All right. Boost was that? 16. 16.